Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Brooke or Baby Sims on all of my socials and today we are building another suburban house in Willow Creek for my save file. This one is to Pendola View, which is the address of this lot. The technical lot name is Hallow Slow, I think it says up there on the top left, but I personally like to make addresses for my houses in my game. And since this neighborhood is called Pendula View, and there's four lots, this is the second one. I do have speed builds up for the third and the fourth, which are, you can kind of see in the background of this build a little bit. Um, but I actually built this. This is a lot that the goths live on in most people's saves. Um, in my personal save though, because I've had it for eight years, I don't think there's a video that's gone by that I haven't mentioned that. But either way, um, they've been dead for a good nine years in real life in my save. Um, so... I decided, and another thing about this little save file thing is, um, if, well, okay, hold on, let me just go way back. I'm just getting way too excited here. So, hi, <laughs> I'm rebuilding all of the Sims 4 worlds, and this is the beginning of that. Well, I guess it's not the beginning. This is my third neighborhood. I'm almost done Willow Creek, actually. Um, I built all of the starter homes. I built all of, like, the middle class homes and then now i'm up here where the goths live so i built the name of the bffs live in and the pancakes and now i'm on where the goths live um and then after that i'll be where like the mansions are so i think it's what is their last name it's like a really big family there's like a grandmother grandfather husband wife and i think a kid or something like that i don't remember their names honestly i they're so forgettable to me um i just remember dennis kim he lives in that house but kim is not their last name I don't know, but either way, he lives there. So I'm on to that neighborhood next, and I'm also simultaneously building community lots for this, which you guys have probably seen on my channel. So far, I have built a nightclub, which is not on my channel, because I built the whole thing and recorded it. But then my OBS crashed mid-recording, and I didn't know, so the only thing I have recorded is the exterior. So that won't be on my channel, unfortunately, but it is on the gallery if you guys want to um, download it. I really like it. I've actually played in it a couple times now in my personal save, and it's really, really fun, and I like it. Um, and I also built a cafe bookstore, and then a gym and spa, and a mall. So we're actually all done for the community lots in this save in Willow Creek. Um, I do have a center park already there. I built that a couple years ago before my channel even started. It is on my gallery. I forget what it's called. It's just probably Willow Magnolia Promenade Reno or something like that. But if you just filter by park, I haven't built very many, like if at all. So definitely go and check that out because that is the park I'm using for this save file, which I'm obsessed with. I love that park. I never go to Willow Creek because my Sims live in Middleton Bay. And in my mind, Willow Creek is like 45 minutes away from Middleton Bay. So they don't really come here very often. So I don't know. I don't know. But I know I love it here. And I have been placing every single lot that I build on my channel. So the houses and the community lots in my personal save that I play in. So, and also on top of that, when I place the houses I've built, I'm also making families for those. I don't know what I'm going to do about the save file. I might make different families or just download ones or I don't know. But I know I can't share with you the ones that I made for my own personal save because they are loaded with CC. Um, because personally, I don't like Sims that don't have CC. Like, I, there are some that are really pretty. I just can't make them pretty or look good at all. The gallery, amazing for it. Me? Mm-mm. No, 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 no. So, <laughs> I have to use CC in my personal save, and plus it is my personal save, and that's what I prefer to do. So, I use a lot of CC on those families, and, um yeah but either way that's what i'm gonna be doing and since this house is where the goths house usually is i actually decided to keep that a little bit in my personal save since they've been dead for so long i decided let's reincarnate them let's put them back but not the actual goths i'm gonna make my own like family that's the same vibes it's not being the goths. it's gonna be like basically like the adams family mixed with the goths even though the goths are based off anyway but you you get the idea but i did build this house for the goths in mind so if you download this and you decide to place it instead of where the goths live, go right ahead. The only thing is, is that I can understand why you wouldn't as well. I think you should because it's my build and I'm biased. But I can understand why you wouldn't because um, 
Their house is a completely different style than I built this one. Their house is Victorian and very old fashioned, very like fancy, fancy furniture that's like millions of dollars in real life probably. And I built this house obviously very suburban and very um, like normal household furniture. So I can understand if you want to keep the aesthetic that they live in now, that is perfectly fine. Me, however, <laughs> I don't really think, I, I changed Willow Creek completely from the Victorian um, shotgun home type of thing. Mm -mm. No, 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 it is suburban central and I tend to do that with a lot of the worlds and I apologize for that. But um, what I plan to do is making Oasis Springs all modern homes so they won't really be suburban. Newcrest is going to be suburban. Um, Windenburg is going to be Tudor homes, of course. San Sequoia, Suburban, <laughs> San Mishuno is also going to be the apartments, Brindleton Bay I'm going to do like coastal Cape Cod vibes, um, Delso Valley kind of like LA Mediterranean vibes, Evergreen Harbor is going to be, you guess it, Suburban vibes, Carbondale, Suburban, and Henford and the rest of them are obviously going to fit their themes, but if you can't tell, I'm a giant fan of suburban homes. I think in real life my dream house is actually a suburban house, like I know a lot of people probably say um oh my dream house is like really modern like a barbie dream house or things like that but no no i think my my dream home is quite literally like a suburban home in willow creek and <laughs> i am i yeah anyway but i decided to keep the vibes of the goth house in this and you'll see that when we start furnishing this house is like all black and has red accents everywhere that's basically the only two colors used in this house black and red um and white for certain things but either way I'm so obsessed with how this turned out and I actually decided to do little things a little bit different. So this build actually took me across the last, I think, three days or maybe two. I'm not sure, but either way, um, I start this build, I started, geez, I started this build a couple nights ago or whenever I started it, um, when after me and my family were hanging out, I came in and I had some free time for like an hour and I started this build and then I've been just working on this build in my free time for a couple days now and then today i am all free time so i decided to actually finish this build and i have a lot more to do after i finish it and i'm so excited um but yeah so what was i just gonna say before that oh yeah this house has very goth vibes um my boyfriend came in who has played a little bit of the sims but he's one of those he, one of those chaotic people he's um the type of person that plays sims very chaotically and by that I mean he is like the type of person he makes like a sim and he like steals all of the townies wives and then kills the husbands and the families and then takes all their money and sells it. He basically does the Black Widow challenge but with twists as in he has like base mental and sells things. <laughs> so I mean <laughs> he's just yeah but I <laughs> so the first townie that he he only if you ask him like name a town from Sims 4, the only one he's gonna know is Billy Goth, because that's who he goes for every time. He steals her from Mortimer every time. Anyway, so when he came in here, I said, I was like, does this look like the Goth's house to you? And he's like, I thought this was the Goth's house. <laughs> and I was like, no, I built this. And he's like, oh, well, it looks like the Goth's house. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I know he's wrong, because the Goth's house is very Victorian, as I said earlier, and this is not, but A for knowing, I guess knowing the aesthetic, I guess, but either way, it's still counted in my books, and I'm sorry that I keep stopping and starting this voiceover, it's, you already know, you already know, it's, it's busy around here, <laughs> and it can get, it gets noisy, so I'm sorry for that, and I'm also sorry if you hear any background noise, but either way, um, one thing I decided to do with this house to keep me what is that word, um, like stamina, basically, but <laughs> not stamina, because I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say, but basically I did all the small details first, like the front deck um, and the bathroom and the laundry room. And another thing I really want to talk about is I added an address. I know this is so pointless and you guys are probably thinking like, why would you waste your time doing that? You would be shocked how long that took me. Um, it doesn't look like long because this is sped up by like six, but it took me a good like six, seven minutes to do that. And I was really happy about it. I'm going to start doing that on my builds. I'm so serious, but like... I don't know i don't know it just kind of gives it just gives i don't know it was really cute and i kind of loved it i was thinking about it because i was like what can go here and i was like oh i wish i could use my cc signs because i have custom content numbers that go on the side of your host like that um and i was like wait 
and I remembered it had like this like flashback to a time where I built a cafe it's on my gallery don't download it it's so horrible I'm not even kidding anyway <laughs> I built it like six years ago um and oh God, I built it when city living first came out so maybe it wasn't six years ago I don't know when city living came out to be honest but either way um I made like a cafe sign out of those lights and wrote cafe on a wall <laughs> um and i was thinking about that and i was like oh yeah no 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 that's what we gotta do that is what's happening right now so i mean yeah that's what i did <laughs> um and this entryway is really really big and i never do this but i put like a table in the middle with a flower on it and the only reason i did this is because my sims were at a nightclub the other day and they did this and i was like you know what it's a space filler and it doesn't look horrible so i'm gonna do it um but this is the kitchen and i tried to think about there's this video um, I think it's a Sims trailer. I forget what pack. I'm thinking it's Dream Home Decorator, but I'm not actually sure. I could be wrong. But in that video, in the, some type of trailer, they're making over the Goths house or they're talking about the Goths house. And they say that Bella needs her iconic kitchen and dining room for her dinner parties. And Mortimer needs like a library or like a office for his writing career and they also need a piano because of the fact that Mortimer and I think maybe even Bella plays the piano so i um made sure to add that in and i added it in the entryway because in the entryway there's this little couch area um i actually get rid of the couch and i put a piano in because they needed one and they deserve one um and yeah so i'm doing the kitchen right now and obviously it's not as big as i would hope for miss bella because she deserves the most grandest chef's kitchen ever but um there's a space space budget and is that how you say that space budget i don't even know but either way that there was a problem with the space in this house so i had to figure out a way sorry for that that was loud oh my goodness um yeah i don't even know what i was talking about was i talking about budgets or something? <laughs> oh my god these videos are always so chaotic like i swear to god you wouldn't you you wouldn't think i know how to talk to people but i swear that i do <laughs> um this video is like 20 minutes long and i'm seriously questioning if i'm gonna be able to get through it <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna say i don't even know what's going on anymore i have a lot to do when this video is done so i'm actually here we go again um picking up picked up oh my god picked up a couple projects for the sims that i'm doing just for fun and obviously my save file is one of them um which I'm having a lot of fun doing, as we've talked about many times on this channel before. But another one I'm doing is I'm actually making a bunch of celebrities right now. Because, well, um, I don't have any at all. Like, I was playing my personal save. I was realized, I realized something. I don't have a single celebrity in my game at all. I have one. Actually, that's a lie. I have one. But it's Cora's mom, who's a famous, like, clothing designer in my game. So I realized that I was sad because I was thinking about the Starlight Accolades because this all started the other day. Okay, I was watching the VMAs and I was like, you know what? The Sims has a Starlight Accolades, which is cool. I've only been like once <laughs> and I never won. But either way, I was like, huh, the Sims has Starlight Accolades. And I was thinking, I'm like, yeah, but I don't think I have any celebrities to go to on anymore because like Judith Ward, Dirk Dreamer, all of them are dead now. <laughs> so all of the original celebrities are dead in my game, except for the ones I don't age. I think is Baby Ariel. She don't age or something like that, but she's not actually in my game. I deleted her. Sorry about it, but I did. Um, <laughs> and so I was thinking and I was like, I need celebrities. So I kind of picked up a project. Instead of downloading them, I'm making them. But here, here's the little twist. So I'm not just making any celebrities. I'm actually looking like making real life celebrities, like parodies of them, basically. So I already made Taylor Swift and Harry Styles, but they, they have the exact same looks. They look at mm, maybe, we shouldn't, maybe we shouldn't, but they're based off of them in looks, but their names are different. So <laughs> I don't remember what I named them, but I'm pretty sure I named Taylor Swift Quinn Taylor because don't even just don't ask and then harry styles i didn't name yet i don't think or maybe he did um i forget what i named him though anyway <laughs> but if you guys see my tweet last night i tweeted that i was making the celebrities and that harry styles looks like harold clothing or something like that harold fashions because i cannot make sims that look like real like that look 
anything like a real person like i can't base a sim off of a person i'm just horrible at it and every time i do it they look nothing like them the only one that was kind of accurate was taylor okay she you could tell it was her like when you first look at her you're not like oh that's very obviously taylor swift but you can tell it's based off of taylor swift okay and if you guys are new to the channel hi welcome i'm the biggest swifty ever she's pretty much all let's do in fact while i was building this i just shuffled her discography <laughs> Which I do very often. I don't, want, I don't know why I'm acting like that's a new thing for me. That's like my daily routine. But um, yeah, by the way, during the VMAs, when I say I watch the VMAs, I did not watch the VMAs. I watched Taylor at the VMAs for like five hours straight because I'm obsessive. Anyway, so I'm, you can tell that it's, her, it's based off of her for sure. Um, and I really had like so much fun making, making her. But Harry Styles, he was the really fun one to make. I was like crying laughing. And not for like a certain reason, not because I think he's like, you know, not good looking or anything like that, it is purely because of the fact that Harry Styles is known for having some wild outfits. Okay, like he has some crazy outfits in his time of being a pop singer. And I really wanted that to translate into my Sims. So you wouldn't believe the amount of fun I had making the outfits for my Harry Styles Sim. He has like pink pants and orange shirts like he, he that's not like dora <laughs> anyway <laughs> oh my goodness um either way he i had so much fun making hairstyles and then so i'm gonna make two households of eight so the first one i'm having two singers which i already did which is harry and then i have obviously um taylor and then tonight i'm gonna make two rappers and i already know which ones i'm gonna make but we aren't gonna talk about it right now. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna make like a female rapper and then a male rapper. So I'm excited for that. And then after that, I'm gonna do actor, actresses, know who I'm doing for that already. And I'm gonna do models, but they're not gonna be based off people because if I'm honest, I don't think I can name a single model. Cara Delevingne, there we go. Boom. <laughs> Cara Delevingne is a model, I think, right? No, she's an act. Cause she's in Paper Towns. Is she an act? No, she's both. I think she's both. Um, is Emily? I don't know how to say her last name. Emily Ronikowski. Is that how you say it? Is she? Is she a model, or is she an actress? I have no idea. Either way, see, I don't know enough enough about models. So I'm gonna just go on Pinterest because I have a board called People, and it has just random like people in it, and I like to base Sims off of those people. So I'm going to do um them guys for the models, and the second household of eight is gonna be. These guys are obviously still famous, but they're going to be more like mundane celebrities. So writers, chefs, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, fashion designers, um, makeup artists, YouTubers. Boom. There we go. YouTubers. We're going to do YouTubers. I don't think I have a certain idea for YouTubers either. I'm probably going to do the same thing I do with models. Although, I know a lot of YouTubers. I just don't really feel comfortable making YouTubers because I myself am a YouTuber and I feel like that's weird to make like my peers in The Sims. I'm not peers with Taylor Swift or Harry Styles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, although, I cannot say I'm on the same level as like James Charles or like ninja <laughs> um but still i don't know like if i made youtubers i just don't i just don't i don't know maybe i will maybe i'll make like a james charles and then i don't know what's like another popular thing on youtube like emma chamberlain <laughs> i don't watch either of those people i don't like i love i watch youtube a lot okay but i don't watch like real life youtubers i watch sims youtubers and that is it actually I watch maybe three people who are real life YouTubers. I watch Mr. Noel Triplets sometimes, Cody Co sometimes, and then Troy. I think that H T Hayes is his YouTube name. Um, but that's pretty much all I watch on YouTube is Simmers. And by Simmers, I mean specifically um, Little Simsy, Urban Sims, Ocean, and Ashley are my basically my only four. But if I do feel like watching a build, um, Jessica Pie, Rachel Ped, and Simlessy are my go-to's for them um but i recently have been watching builds i've been really addicted to lps right now because they're, let's let's be honest they're like tv but for sims and it, it puts two of my favorite things in one tv and sims so i'm obsessed with lps and i quite literally am binging ashley's whole channel i finished her mimi and sam Ashino and her mimi and Winnenberg. i'm just about done i finished high school years and i also finished almost finished her discovery university um, and I'm almost done her entire, like, <laughs> videos. <laughs> um, 
but if you guys know anybody who does good let's plays on youtube i need to pick up jen's too i haven't seen any of jen that's probably who i'm gonna watch next but if you guys have any guys and what if you guys have any youtubers you guys like me to watch for lps then send them my way because i love watching lps this video is actually almost done we only a couple minutes left i'm just doing the back deck and one thing i do love about this house is this like kind of infinity pool thing it's not actually but you do it is like built into the house basically so you can quite literally if you wanted to i don't recommend it but if you wanted to you can stand on top of the counter and just jump in the pool i again wouldn't recommend it though don't do that honestly now i'm thinking about it i should put a diving board <laughs> up there um i don't know if that would function though i don't know how that works with diving boards if they're not connected to a pool but either way i would like try that i don't know i feel like that's a good idea probably not actually a good idea but it could be a good idea <laughs> um i'm just adding some lights outside now because it gets dark and i always get to put lights in my house and then it gets dark and i'm all spooked out because i can't <laughs> see in the game at all and so i'm inside the house so always have lights always have lights to your house guys um we are doing the wallpaper now and thank god because clearly i was running out of things to talk about so when i do the wallpaper which i do last that means the video is over so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys liked it please leave a like a comment and subscribe for more videos just like this just as chaotic too and down the description down below you can talk to me. talk to me with my social media links in the description down below and i'll see you guys in the next video i love you and goodbye